second year in a row, Google had commissioned Accenture to produce analysis that resulted to map Africa's developer landscape. Google has expanded this edition of the report to include year-over-year -year growth analysis, tech ecosystem components, and key growth factors. The research was conducted in 16 markets and the findings were extrapolated to the rest of the African countries. One of the countries included in the research was Rwanda, where it stands in third category of fostering landscape for growth. According to Mr. Olia Mugabonake, the Managing Director of AD Finance, there are around 4,000 confirmed software developers and 287 senior developers who has more than seven years of experience in this industry in Rwanda. We need to address the first the quality of our young graduates so that we talk with business people, we talk with the academics to have uh, graduates who have skills that match with the needs of the market. So we need to, to, to really to work hard on that. Second thing is to, um, like to, 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 to enhance the access to markets I mean, uh, for our local born companies. Solvit Africa CEO Joseph Semafra says the knowledge these students have received from the training is what makes them successful in the regional market. Of the thousand students, more than half of them have already been hired. Solvit Africa is a training and outsourcing company in sector of technology. So we train software developers to be uh, ready for the global market. Then we press them on the market, then they get jobs either in the local companies or international companies. The market's too demanding. And again, we don't have enough resources to put enough people on the training. Um, I've, I've mentioned that we do two months training. It's not enough. But because the, two the, the, the market's too demanding, we just do, uh, we wrap it up, then we put them on the market. Those who failed to pass through, they come back th uh, on, 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 on training again. So if we have enough resources, we are okay to really spend enough time with these people, at least six months, we train them, then when they be on the market, no one is going to judge them at all. The world was at risk of the COVID-19 pandemic. Ms. Bonte Emma and Ms. Nazifa Mutoni were among those who completed this training. I showed them a website that I did and then and I proceeded to training the program. Uh, during the program, the program I have run a lot because I do UI UX design. It's not common in Rwanda, but it's very helpful. Uh, we are in week five. Uh, we do a training of week, six weeks. So I don't take affinity from Solvit Africa. I had the training with Solvit Africa, a training of six weeks. And after those weeks, they connected me with Tech Affinity. Mr. Santil Srinivasan, the Vice President of Technology and Strategy in Tech Affinity, a software development company based in the USA, briefs us about the talents found in Rwanda and how to bridge the gap of challenges found in this industry. Finding out uh, the resources in Rwanda is uh, a bit challenges initial days before we uh, before we get the uh, get the contact with Solvit, that's a company that we have been uh, associated with, and uh, yeah, the in terms of talent uh, they are good, and uh, the challenges that we face in the even facing now is like kind of finding out the seniors uh, is a kind of challenges now. And uh, we were able to identify the resources, around 35 resources are currently working with us. And uh, they are pretty much good and uh, they are exceeding our expectation. And there are areas still uh, we need to fine tune them and currently we are doing that right away. Bridging Gap, uh, we have a kind of uh, regular training program uh, that we are uh, conducting through uh, India. And our uh, Indian talents are like uh, regular communication with our guys and uh, they are improvising their uh, uh, technology, their communication, and the day-to-day -day activities that they are currently doing. They are really, uh, help, uh, they are improvising uh, those guys. And in terms of in further, in future uh, plan, uh, yeah, we are planning to have like a double fold. Cur currently we said, I said uh, 35 resources, and we are planning to double fold that. And for that, uh, we need uh, local community help. Being fast, fast growing, fast country, and is Rwanda being the first country in Africa or East Africa in terms of uh, ICT literacy. But again, we need to identify the gaps that are here. Then we bridge them uh, uh, together with the ecosystem players. Mr. Kimeni Amable, the second chairperson in the Private Sector Federation, PSF, tells us about the commitment the government has for its citizens. Melon, we have University of Rwanda, which is pushing so hard. We have Coding Academy uh, in Nyabihu, uh, which is really tackling the, this, this journey with those young people 
to tell them what is really needed on the market. So we are, I'm going to, uh, to work with my, uh, my colleagues in the chamber to try to see how we can give the maximum uh, uh, networking with those young people. Three countries which are preceded by Rwanda include Egypt, Nigeria and Kenya have made great strides in developing in this sector and South Africa has been placed in the first place. Siddhi Patel, RTV News.